Are you looking for recruits online? Do you like working your business from home? Are you like me and avoid leaving your house at all costs? Well, unfortunately, very few new team members are going to fall from the sky. You've got to hustle for them, but I've got some tips that'll help you do so. Hey everybody, I'm Jessica Perrier, Platinum Premier Leader of my team of Poshpreneurs, and I want to talk to you today about building your team online. You see, I have a team of over 3,000 poshpreneurs. It's insane. I have not even been in this business for three years. But I've built this team online exclusively, and you can do it too. The lifeblood of our business is building relationships. So you want to build a relationship with everybody that you have the opportunity to do so with. Whether someone has requested samples from you, they're a guest at a party, you met them at a vendor event, you ran into them in the Starbucks line, however you have gotten to be in contact with this potential new customer, you want to be building that relationship. Okay, so let's talk about parties. You've booked a party, woo, you're on your way to your first recruit. Because let me tell you, hostesses make the best recruits. So make sure that you are developing that relationship with your hostess. Talk about the things that she's gonna post on her personal page. Ask her what she's thinking about her products. Ask her what friends of hers are going to be most excited to try Posh. Develop that relationship and keep her really close. Because even if she's not going to join your team, she's going to be the very best referrer to tell you who might. Now, during her party, make sure that you're interacting with every single guest. Anybody that comments, anybody that's participating, you want to make sure and get in there and participate with them. Laugh with them. Give them compliments. Make sure that they're having a really fun time learning all about Posh. You want to make sure that they feel like you care about them and providing them super customer service, not just making a sale. People buy from people, right? And people, to take it a step further, buy from people that they know, like, and trust. You don't have to have gone to grade school with them, but you've got to interact with them. You've got to make them feel like you care and they matter. Here's a good little tip. Once I've established that somebody is potentially interested in joining my team, or maybe might consider it, you can go ahead and make sure that you're friends with them on Facebook. You know how you have the option to follow somebody on Facebook? Well, you also have the, the option to see them first. So if you've got somebody that's really interested in potentially joining your team, you wanna make sure that you're basically stalking them on Facebook. I mean, let's not get carried away. We're not actually stalking people, but you wanna make sure that you're seeing all of their posts and interacting with them. Not just the posh related posts, but their family style posts, their lifestyle posts, things that they made for dinner. You want to be building that relationship and the best and easiest way to build that relationship online is to interact with their public posts. When you really become um, a participant of their online lifestyle, when it does come time to have those posh conversations, you're going to be so much more informed and so much more equipped to carry on that conversation and handle any of her objections that she might come up with. She might say that she doesn't know very many people. You can say, well, I saw that you were just at a baseball tournament last weekend. That would have been a perfect opportunity to posh X, Y, and Z. Coming up with those kinds of responses is really a great thing for both building your relationship and helping her to overcome some of her objections. I know when I first joined, I said I didn't have any friends and I didn't know who I would possibly posh. But in talking with my sponsor, because we were friends and we had a relationship, she helped me to see additional opportunities that were right in front of my face that I just, for whatever reason, was ignoring. Now notice, even though this is a training on recruiting, and we've already gone over a couple of things, I haven't told you to ask them yet. I haven't even told you to message them yet. Because first and foremost, we want to establish that relationship. And next, we want to have some basic interaction. If we just message them and ask them to join our team out of the blue, then that comes off as salesy and it's off-putting, even if they would have made a fabulous consultant. But when we establish that relationship and we get some interaction going first, then messaging them comes very naturally, and it's a lot more authentic and genuine. So that said, the next step is to message them. So when you message them, you're going to have a conversation, and you're going to start out by greeting them. Hey girl, I had so much fun at so-and-so's party last week. Thanks so much for attending. I hope you had some fun too. Then you've got to admit that you stopped them. <laughs> I loved getting to know you in the party, and I have to admit that 
I kind of stalked you on Facebook, and your little boy is the cutest thing in the whole world. Girl, you are like the mayor. Everybody knows you. Admitting that you stalked them is kind of funny, and it's gonna be like a little bit more of an icebreaker to bring that relationship connection a little closer, and it's also a great opportunity for you to throw a compliment out there. Her little boy is the cutest. She has the best sense of style. She picked the best vacation destination. Whatever, find something that you can genuinely pay her a compliment with. Once you've laid that groundwork, you're gonna pitch her. You know, have you ever thought about being a posh lady like me? When you ask her if she's ever thought about joining, or ever thought about being a posh lady, or ever thought about doing something like what I do, make sure and tie it into the compliment that you paid her. Your little boy is the cutest, and I just think he would make the cutest little posh advertisements. Have you ever thought about being a posh lady? I mean, everybody knows you. I think you would kill it in this business. However you complimented them, tie that into the pitch. This is why you thought she would be good. Finish off that message with two to three sentences about why you love posh and why it's right for you. Remember, you're not trying to sell her on joining. You're simply sharing your experience. You're planting a little seed for her to think about. And now we wait. A fabulous video on YouTube by Platinum Premier Leah Dalton, and it's all about watching your balls. At this point, we're waiting. We don't want to word vomit. We don't want to overwhelm her with way too much information. We've greeted her. We've paid her a compliment. We've told her that we think she would be great at it. And we've showed her our passion for the company and why we love being a part of it. Now we're waiting. It's really important for her to absorb all of that information that we've already given and come back with her response. She might come back with a surprising response like, yes, I'm going to join right now. That's probably not going to happen as frequently as the other options, but it could happen. You've done everything right up until now. She might come back with a question. You know, I've never thought of it. How much is it to join? Or she might say, you know, I've been thinking about it, but I feel like I don't have enough time. Ah, then we have an objection that we can then respond to. So here are some common objections that you might run into. Eh, I don't really have any free time. Then you tell her how much time you spend on your business. Ugh, I love the products, but I've never, I've, I've never been a salesperson. That's good because I'm not a salesperson either. I am a shares person. And then just explain to her the difference between selling and sharing. Hello, she already loves the product. She knows that it sells itself. She just needs us to lead her to the answer. The stuff sells itself, lady. You've just gotta share it, and it's really easy when you love it. Probably don't call her lady, though. Ugh, I mean, I love this stuff, but I just don't think my friends would buy it. Um, hello, booking opportunity. Well, we could get you a party booked. That way I could send out some samples and we could test market it to your friends. I know they're going to love it, but let's start with a party. What do you say? Yes, I totally want to join. I just don't have the $99. Well, girl, you already know that there are lots of options. Offer to help her host a launch party. She can earn back her kit money with her first party. Offer to help her pre-sell items out of her kit. Or tell her to get to saving. Five and ten dollars here and there adds up really fast. And besides, it's not a $99 cost, it's a $99 investment, an investment that you can quickly earn back. I know I offer an opportunity event every single month for my team, so check with your upline to see if you have something similar. That's a perfect opportunity to invite anybody that might be considering Posh. Oftentimes showing up into that group support, seeing all of the other excitement from all of the other new people is enough to push them over the edge and really give them enough confidence to say, yeah, maybe this could be for me. And ultimately, when you pitch them, if they flat out said no, then back off immediately. There's no need for you to push. We cannot make up their minds for them. We can simply offer the posh opportunity and hope that they accept. If they've got questions, we've got answers. But if it's absolutely no, then that's okay. And that doesn't mean that it's no forever. It just means no right now. All right, I totally get it. I just had to ask. I mean, I would just love to have you on my team. And don't forget to plant that seed. If you ever change your mind, I'm happy to answer any questions you've got. I think you'd be perfect. I don't think that's pushy at all. It's just another little send off compliment. Okay, so we went over some of our typical objections and you know, if they said no, but what if they said yes? Because remember, we set this up properly. We built that relationship. We interacted with them and then we pitched them and they said yes. It's party 
time. <laughs> it's seriously party time. You did it. You got a yes. Get on the phone with her and talk about her expectations. Talk about her excitement for Posh and take it and run with it. You're never going to get somebody more excited about their business than right at the very beginning. So capitalize on that time and really help her to launch strong. Lastly, the fortune is always in the follow-up. Don't just give somebody this opportunity and let it sit there. You've got to follow up. Make sure that you're following up consistently. It is your J-O-B. It's not a bother to follow up. When you follow up, you're letting somebody know that you're still thinking about them, that they matter, that you want to know what they have to say. Your follow-up isn't, hey, are you ready to sign up yet? No, your follow-up is continuing to grow that relationship, continuing to interact with their life online outside of Posh or whatever direct sales company you're with. Your job is to follow up and build that relationship. The best way you can do this is by tracking your customers. Whether you've got an official tracking system or you're like me and you've got a good old fashioned notebook that you just jot down every time you talk to somebody, whatever works. But make sure that you follow up because the minute you stop following up is the minute you're gonna start losing your leads. So, I built a team of 3,000 ladies in two and a half years. You can too. Get outside of your comfort zone. Follow these tips and get to recruiting. Build that team. You wanna have a long lasting, sustainable, residual income? You've gotta build a team. Your sales are only going to take you so far. Think of your sales as a vehicle to team building. And if you're sitting there thinking, nobody's ever gonna join my team, then you're right. Nobody is ever going to join your team. So get rid of that stinking thinking and get to work. You've got this. You are awesome. You're a rock star recruiter. So go out there and recruit them. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss another Jessica Posh video. Have a great day.